Hi guys, welcome to lecture 8 of 5 MCQs a day series and we will be discussing questions of ESI section and their answers. So this question, uh, this series will be useful for phase 2 of SEBI grade A, SEBI gra RBI grade B and also for phase 1 and phase 2 both of NABARD grade A 2019. Okay, and we also have these three courses running. Now, uh, let's look at uh, our results. In RBI Grade B 2017, 27 Edutapians got selected in the final list. And in Nabard Grade A 2018, out of the total generalist seats of 46, 20 students who got uh, into the final list were from Edutap. And we are awaiting the RBA Grade B 2018 result and we are sure that Adutapians will come out with flying colors. Now let's start. Dash clause requires a country to provide any concessions, privileges or immunities granted in a trade agreement to one nation to all other WTO member countries. Is it uh, the domestic treatment clause or the most favored nation clause or the negative list clause or the positive list clause or uh, none of these. Think about the answer. The answer is MFN that is most favored nation that is option number two because it uh, requires that uh, see the, although the name implies favoritism towards another nation like most favored nation but it denotes equal treatment to all countries this is the irony and uh, you might be surprised to know that india has given most favored nation tag to pakistan also since it is also a member of wto how come see let's uh, uh, understand this with an example suppose one nation reduces tariffs by five percent for another nation okay and that another nation is let's say only one nation suppose uh, country a reduces tariffs by five percent for country b then according to the most favored nation clause all the wto members will have their tariffs cut by five percent okay the second question which of the following categories of subsidies are allowed without major limits under wto is it the green box or the blue box or the red box or amber box or maybe all of them allow this the correct answer is option number one and we will discuss it the answer is green box and uh, in actually in wto uh, terminologies the subsidies are identified by boxes and these boxes are mentioned in ag uh, agreement on agriculture okay that is known as a a o a okay and also known as the agriculture agreement and green box is defined in annexure two of the agricultural agreement and in order to qualify green uh, uh, the subsidies in order to qualify for the green box subsidies the subsidies must not distort trade or in case they do that must be minimal distortion okay and they have to be government funded and must not involve price support okay very important for you they must not involve price support let's understand this in the next para See, these are those programs that is those subsidies that are not targeted at particular products. Okay. And include direct income supports to farmers that are not related to current production levels or surprises or prices. Okay. They're not related to the current production levels. And uh, they also include environmental protection and regional development programs also. And thereby uh, see and uh, these boxes no uh, they actually you can uh, relate them to the lights of uh, these traffic lights okay and uh, like green is permitted green means go amber means slow down and red means stop okay 
now moving on which of the box uh, uh, see uh, this is the amber box with conditions and conditions designed to reduce distortion any support that would normally be in the amber box is placed in this box okay you have to identify what is this box and if the support also and if the support also requires the farmers to limit production okay these basically the question says there is a particular box and that is known as amber box with conditions and that uh, uh, in in this box the support also requires farmers to limit the production and which box under wto is being talked about is it the green box or magenta box or blue box or the development box or none of these the correct answer is three blue box let's understand this see blue box subsidies they are those subsidies those uh, uh, otherwise would have been amber box subsidies but they include payment on account of difference between the market price and uh, msp at which agriculture goods are purchased from the farmer or they also include subsidies paid for limiting the production and it is actually a very controversial box now very very important question which mode of service delivery recognized by gats that is general agreement on trade and services relates to movement of personnel that is natural persons to deliver services abroad is it mod 2 or mod 4 or mod 3 or mod 1 or none of these see the correct answer is option number 2 mod 4 and uh let's uh, discuss this in detail see the definition of services that is given in uh, gats is four pronged okay and uh, it uh, depends on the territorial presence of the supplier and the consumer at the time of the transaction so these uh, modes are actually these are services okay these are services so mode one includes cross border supply such as bpos or transportation or distance education okay and mode 2 mode 2 includes delivery of services through representative offices for example foreign banks or like deutsche bank uh, it has its representative office in india also no and it delivers services to the local indian people so that comes under mode 2 and in mode 3 it means consumption abroad for example services available by tourists in foreign countries let's see uh, th uh, there is something known as medical tourism okay so uh, the medical services which tourists will uh, avail in medical services uh, facilities that tourists will avail in india will be known as uh, uh, will come under the mode 3 okay and as compared to mode 4 what is mode 4 it is uh, we have discussed it earlier that it is the movement of personnel to deliver services abroad for example indian doctors traveling abroad and uh, delivering services at foreign locations so you must remember all these modes okay you must remember and understand the differences between them this is very important now the last question patents are issued for a time period of is it 20 months or 20 years or 20 weeks or 20 days or there is no time limit that is permanently the correct answer is 20 years see a patent is a form of intellectual property okay and intellectual property uh, rules govern this patent and what what is the meaning of patent actually the patent is a modified form of letters patent and uh, the this patent gives its owner the right to exclude others from making or using or selling and importing an invention for a limited period of time that is for 20 years that is usually for 20 years and how is it granted see under wto rules it is granted uh if the invention is either new and involves and or involves uh, an inventive step 
और इस केप एंड इज ऑल्सो केपेबल ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल एप्लीकेशन दैट इज यूजफुल ऑल्सो बट देर आर सर्टन वेरिएशन डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द कंट्री and uh, the trips uh, this trips agreement provides uh, for a, a term of protection that is uh, a minimum of 20 years so uh, patent uh, uh, we see we have seen that patent is a set of exclusive rights granted by a government to an inventor for a limited period of time in exchange for pub, uh, detailed public disclosure of the invention and one more very important thing patents are territorial rights this means that uh, the exclusive rights are only applicable in the country or region in which the patent has been filed and granted okay you may match your answers here and please do not forget to type your score in the comment box if you have a query uh you may drop us a uh, mail at hello at adutab.co.in or you may call us at this number and in order to know about our courses uh, you may visit our website and if you like this video please subscribe and share thank you so much happy learning